not clear. I repeat, we are not clear. We have multiple enemy craft in pursuit. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and ooh boy, do I have a fun one for you. If you enjoy the extra variety I'm working to divide or to, to bring you, please remember to leave a like on the video, a comment, and consider if you use Twitter, Facebook, Gab, whatever, share the video out there. Uh, YouTube's algorithm obviously is no longer promoting independent content creators like it once was. And I only have you to help grow the channel. So I appreciate your help. And I promise I'll deliver you some good memes here in 2019 and 2020 and beyond. Now, Brianna Wu is a ghost from Gigi's past. One of the few people that extended their grift beyond that 2014-2015 era. Her and people like, um, you know, Anita Sarkeesian and... Um, the other one, uh, who shall not be named, while well, ZQ will say, they were able to extend their grift beyond 2014 and continue to make a living. Now, Birana Wu uh, has decided she wants to be political. Uh, someone who spends most of their day tweeting endlessly for fundraising uh, has decided they know what the delegates really need, and that is what appears to me uh, is a crazy person in government. I suppose one more couldn't hurt all that badly. Now, if you remember, this is the same person that tweeted out, and I quote, one out of two, retweeting a Wired article saying uh, about SpaceX, saying, they plan to launch a privately crewed mission to the moon next year. Her response? This is being covered as a fun hijink for rich people, but the idea of a private corporation having access to the moon should give you pause. The moon is probably the most tactically valuable military ground for Earth. Rocks dropped from there have the power of hundreds of nuclear bombs. That's right, space rocks. You should be afraid of space rocks. Of course, not that they wouldn't completely burn up in our atmosphere, but I, I mean, I, I don't want to talk about science with Brianna Wu. You need to worry about space rocks. Now, obviously, perhaps a call back to the Klandathu who fired meteors at the Earth during Starship Troopers. Perhaps that is what she's referring to here. But I just want to point out that Brianna Wu is not exactly someone I would call mentally sound, in my opinion. She then sees some more coverage during the from the Washington Times. Congressional candidate, moon colonizing companies could destroy cities by dropping rocks. A, I don't know, that's not relevant. Well, the article says a trans issues activist, Democratic candidate for Congress. Obviously, this has nothing to do with being trans or their issues. Uh, says an advent of the space tourism industry could give private corporations a frightening amount of power to destroy Earth with rocks because of the moon's importance. Brianna Wu, a prominent social justice warrior in the GG controversy, is now running for a House seat in Massachusetts' 8th District, suggested a, in a since-deleted tweet that companies could drop rocks from the moon. The moon is probably the most tactical spot. SpaceX announced Monday that it will launch tourism venture to the moon in 2018. After user social media questioned her scientific literacy, the congressional candidate clarified that the tweet was, quote, talking about drop dropping rocks into our gravity as well. What? Small space rocks can indeed do large scale damage if hitting the earth at orbital speeds. But launching one from the moon, even setting aside issues of aiming, would still require escaping the satellite's gravitational field, a task that would require the power and thrust contained in a huge rocket. One internet wit posted on the, on the Twitter the footage of an astronaut hitting a golf ball on the moon with the words Alan Shepard 4. Miss Wu blamed criticism on sexism 
That's the danger of being a woman on the internet, she exclaimed. Like, you can all make fun of that statement, but it will still be true. Another Wu tweet said, this is why the militarization of space is so dangerous. That's right, dropping space rocks is a new thing that you should be afraid of. Now, this isn't even about that. That's right. Brianna Wu on her Twitter feed is furiously tweeting what you would expect, normal orange man bad stuff, immediately followed up by give me money, Brianna Wu for congress.com. I, for one, support her candidacy. I would love to have Brianna Wu in Congress. I think it will be great for the memes alone. And let's be honest, our government is just one giant meme. No, God, please, no, 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 no. So why not roll out some additional memes? Now, shared by Vito Gizaldi, at Vito Gizaldi, great follow for great memes, also an excellent content creator and a board game designer, shared an email received from the Brianna Wu for Congress campaign. It read, hey, Christopher, if you're a Star Wars fan like me, you may have mixed feelings about the new trilogy. Maybe you loved it. Maybe not so much. Maybe you saw some of the criticism of the films on social media. But how about this? According to the New York Times, over a half of the online anger directed at The Last Shot I came from Russian bot, troll, and sock puppet accounts. By the way, this report has been largely discounted and uh, discredited, but Miss Wu doesn't care about spreading fake news when it supports her agenda. They aren't just trying to influence our elections. They're trying to propagate extreme ideology right-wing through our culture. We need people in Congress who will take this seriously. Will you give me money before December 31st deadline to help me get into Congress? Congress, by the way, that's what I want Congress doing, investing their time in the validity of Rotten Tomatoes scores. That's right. If I'm to believe that foreign nations have any concern at all about what Rotten Tomatoes says about movies, which by the way, I don't, I definitely, if I did believe that, I would definitely want Congress spending time and money on the important issues. She continues, Congress is not just is not doing enough to stop these Russian bot farms from attacking our democracy as if influencing our elections isn't bad enough. They are taking it one step further by trying to change our values as Americans. This is just an, a, a further uh, down the rabbit hole. Mo Russian bots. I haven't seen any convincing evidence that bots are actively doing anything other than just being bots. I don't think that they understand that the average person is going to ask the average person question. Why? What does Putin care about the Rotten Tomato scores of a Star Wars movie? They seem to ignore Occam's razor here and simply and, 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 and the whole conspiracy around bot farms falls apart when you simply ask why. Give me one reason why they would be interested in doing this. And to be honest with you, recent studies have showed that Twitter represents an extraordinarily small percentage of the American population. 90% of the tweets, by the way, are put out by less than 10% of its users. Most people simply engage on Twitter from afar or just have accounts and don't use it. If I were looking for major influence, it wouldn't be using Twitter. It wouldn't be using Rotten Tomatoes. The people that actually get off their butts and go to the, the voting booths, they don't use Twitter. And they don't go to RottenTomatoes.com and care what the review scores are it doesn't matter the whole concept of of this of of uh mr putin out on his shirtless on his horse 
uh, directing bot farms to uh, change scores is ridiculous. And by the way, let me point out to you, there has been some credible evidence of, of bot farms. They exist. Of course they do. Um, and the reason they call them Russian is to use them in a political manner to say that uh, it's run by their government. There's been no link there. They say this because it helps their ideology. It's a lie. Um, bot farms may exist there, but they aren't run by the government. I can go hire one right now to give upvotes to videos. You can go get a bot farm to give your Twitch viewership uh, numbers up. It's a service that just happens to run out of that country. It has nothing to do with them influencing elections or Mr. You know, the Putin out there doing anything. This is just a lie. And make sure when people use that word, you stop them kindly. You say, wait, can you prove any of this? And when, of course, they will say no. Say, please stop spreading this fake news. She continues. I'm a software engineer. I know how these bot farms work and I know how to stop them. This is an all hands on deck situation. And the most immediate impact you can have is to get me to Congress to stop this attack on our country. Please give me money. <laughs> no amount of money is going to help Brianna Wu win a seat in Congress. No amount of coverage, and she'll look at this coverage as a positive thing, uh, is going to help her because her ideas are flawed. Um, because a business exists in a country does not mean that it's automatically acting on their behalf. This is a fundamental flaw of the whole Marussia bot farm thing. And when you see people, you tell them, stop spreading lies. This is one of the most pervasive lies out there, and it's used as a straw man to create fear and use that fear to control people. Good luck, Brianna, on your congressional run. I look forward to you rooting out the evils that rely in rating irrelevant Hollywood movies. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.